I am not ready for Monday. Mm. Work, copy, work. Hi guys, welcome back to I Hauled It But Did I Like It? I hope you guys are starting your Monday mornings off fantastically or whenever you're watching this, I hope it was a great day. I hope it was. <laughs> So I have about five or six products I want to talk to you guys about. Um, pretty exciting products, at least in my eyes, they're pretty exciting products. So if you guys want to find out what those products are and how I'm feeling about them, then just sit tight and we'll get right into it. Now I want to start off with an Estee Edit product and this is the Pore Vanishing Stick. This, I, you guys have heard me talk about this a lot lately, so you know that this is a product that I do like, but of course with any product, there are pros and cons, so I did want to go into detail on this product for you guys and just tell you my overall feelings on it. Um, yes, overall, I love it. I've been using it for over a month now. It was in my favorites. I've talked about it plenty of times in my products that shocked me video that I did with Jen. I mean, I just love this product so so much. It is a little bit expensive. It is $28 and I believe you get like 0.24 ounces or something like that, but it is a like solid product. It's not liquid, so it's not going to go as fast as other products that are like 0.24 ounces. And I mean, the obvious, let's not forget that it looks like a boob. It really does. It has a white like outer ring and then it has a more nude flesh colored inner ring and it just looks looks like a today. More like a nipple. I mean, it's not really a boob. It's a nipple. So this product is a Sephora exclusive, which is pretty cool. It has almost five stars on Sephora, so people are really liking it. It says that it's an easy glide-on stick to blur the look of pores and minimize shine and oil. You can use it alone as a primer or over your makeup any time of the day. With a single swipe, pores appear blurred, skin tone looks more even, and shine and oil are reduced. This dual action formula has an outer core of oil absorbing powders and an inner core with a sheer pigment that fits all skin tones. It's portable and easy to apply. It can be used alone for a natural looking flawless finish or as a shine busting primer under makeup. So this has a lot of claims to it and it's pretty innovative if you guys think about it too because I don't personally know a lot of products that have a cream to powder outside and then like a little kind of like tinted moisturizer typed product on the inside and I just think that's really cool. Now one con I will say about this is when it comes to pores and most of us if we have pore issues as to the point of why we're looking into pore products they're pretty bad they're pretty obvious and when I use this it will blur fine lines and it will minimize the look of your pores but it will not completely make your pores go away that's why when I talk about this product I tell you guys I like to pair it with my Dermalogica Hydra Blur Primer because those two really really minimize my pores to almost a zero effect which I like so they kind of assist each other I think that if you have smaller pores and it's not really even something that you you are concerned with this will completely erase it this might be your best friend ever this will be your best friend ever anyway you guys um but this is not a cure-all this is not an end-all be-all product you're still gonna have those pores um it does even skin tone amazingly i'll give it that and when you swatch it on your hand like as you guys have seen it blurs like the fine lines on my hands are gone you can actually see a straight even line of skin next to the pores and hair follicle areas on my hand when I swiped this and I thought that, that was really cool. This product does work. I have oily skin. This does not make me more oily. This just sits very very well on my skin. I The only thing like I said I never actually got around to telling you guys the con about this but the con that I don't like is there seems to be like bumps in it like little specks of something that almost look like sand or something hard and you can feel that when you're trying to apply it to your skin and it can actually like come off of the product and sit on your skin and you have to pick it off. That's the only thing I don't like about this. I don't know what it is because they don't mention anything in the review um, of what it is but there's just little specks of hard things in here that I don't like and I don't know what that is but other than that this product is so good so expensive as always but so good and with Estee Edit a lot of their products at least for me are misses so when I find a hit with them I get so excited and this product is definitely worth grabbing because 
it may not help or like completely 100% get rid of things for you, but it is going to help so much and you're going to love it. So if you pair this with maybe your favorite like existing primer that you have for pores or fine lines or redness, it could just be a holy grail. All right, now let's move on to a very hyped up product lately, which we all love to hate these hyped up products or the other way we hate to love them either or um mine's probably more hate to love because i hate when i love hyped up products because i feel like i'm selling out or something and i'm really not if you like a product you like it if you hate it you hate it sometimes the hype is real um this is the tarte shape tape let's get to telling you what it is this is the tarte shape tape it's a contour concealer so it is a two-in-one product, you guys, and it is $24. It does come in 14 different shades, which is pretty cool. A lot of concealers don't come in 14 different shades, but I feel like because this is a two-in-one product, that that's why. You get a lot more in this, and it has a bigger doe foot applicator. And that is because you're supposed to be able to use this as a contour as well as a highlighter. So you can get these in one to two shades darker and one to two shades lighter to actually highlight and contour along with concealing. So really, it's kind of like a three-in-one if you think about it, but they market it as a two-in-one product. So I'm only going to be speaking about this as a concealer and a highlighter because that's the only way that I have used this. I, As you guys know, most of you, I don't like cream contouring. Not good at it. It's a muddy mess no matter what grade or formulation of product I use. I'm just not very good at that stuff. Not yet. Now the shape tape is cruelty free, gluten free, and vegan, which is really cool to think about. You sculpt and highlight as you mask imperfections with this 2-in-1 full coverage concealer. The hydrating long wearing formula delivers natural radiant coverage across all skin types so you can instantly brighten and cover acne, dark circles, and redness while softening the look of pores and fine lines. Wear 1-2 to two shades lighter or darker and it works as a creamy highlighter or contouring stick with a lightweight blendable formula and tapered wand applicator ideal for precise strobing and sculpting now I don't know about the sculpting I cannot tell you guys but based on the formulation that this is I'm guessing that the whole line is the same formulation it's just different shades I can see where it would be pretty easy for someone who's very good with cream contouring to use this and find the just accessibility out of it how easy it is it does blend very very good I have noticed that this is very blurring you know like it blurs the fine lines underneath my eyes which is something that i really like it doesn't crease i love the softness look of it it really does have that soft look which i love it looks like you set it before you set it if that makes sense and i really do like this the only thing that i don't like is the fact that the wand is so big if you're only getting this to use underneath your eyes it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt especially with people who have smaller eyes like I do because I tend to get it all over and I also noticed that it's I, I don't really feel that it's as hydrating as they say it is I feel like it dries very quickly and it almost becomes chalky if you don't blend it out very fast but Full coverage, yes it is. I'm wearing it today, you guys. I've been wearing it for a while. I've gotten this a while ago, and almost a month ago, and I have been wearing it every single day since. It totally overtook my Maybelline Age Rewind, which I've been using like crazy. This is a really good product. It is really good, and I also use it to highlight my chin area, my cupid's bow, and my nose, and up on my forehead, and it works amazingly for that. So I really do like this product. I think it's amazing. I think that a lot of people will absolutely love this. I do think that the hype is real, but $24, do I feel like that is worth it? Absolutely not, and I think that a lot of you will absolutely love this, especially if you're really good with cream contouring and you want to grab a couple of these. I mean, you're going to have everything you need for a long while with this so Tarte did good on this they did good on this but overpricing it come on now I do want to move on to the body shop makeup products that I wanted to talk to you guys about I will be using these in a get ready with me soon I'm just very very swamped this week I was going to do a get ready this week for you guys I have like three of them that you guys really want to see on certain looks and using certain products I'm so swamped so after the break that I take through Christmas to the new year after that break is over I will be coming back and using a ton of makeup for you guys and a ton of get ready with me so if you're excited about that let me know because I do know that my get ready with me's are hit and miss you know some people really like them but others are just like I don't watch that kind of stuff but 
If you guys want to see them, just let me know down below in the comments. But a lot of you wanted to know how this Body Shop makeup was because I just recently got sent this in PR. I didn't even know they had a makeup line, you guys, so I was very excited about it. So the products that I have used is the one palette that I kept, and this one is in Down to Earth, which is, you know, I kept it obviously because it has colors that I absolutely love. Very beautiful, almost like taupe with a little bit of purple, browns, and then a cream color. So I really wanted to check that out. And I have used this a couple of times along with their eye color stick. And this one is like gold, I believe, um, Nevada gold, and then a lipstick. So let's start off with the palette. Now I love the look of the palette itself. It's just black and shiny. It says the name of the palette right there on the front, which I really do like. These do come, at least as far as I know, there are three different palettes. I did give away two of them and kept this one down to earth. Something that I really, really like about these though, you guys, is when you see the back of it, you can actually take these and pop out the pans very easily and switch them around. So if you wanted to grab one or two palettes, you really can make it your own with the three palettes and the color combinations that they give you. So if you have like two palettes and you have one shade that you actually want in this palette, you can just pop it out and snap it back in and it's very easy. And I think that that's very innovative, innovative because a lot of companies don't have that. So that is something that I really, really liked about this. The price of this palette is $24. So you're talking $24 for four shades. That is a little steep in my eyes. Um, a lot steep because I mean, most Anastasia Beverly Hills, they, um, come with a bunch of different, you know, pans and they're only like 32 to 36 dollars so that's a little bit insane to me but also the size of the pans you really do need to take into effect because they are huge so you're getting a ton of product versus the abh palettes who the the pans are like super super tiny so that is definitely something to think about but i would say if you wanted to grab one make sure you're going to grab one that you're going to use a lot to get your money's worth out of it now this palette comes with four shades. You have India Rose Quartz, Atlas Razul. I'm going to say this so wrong, you guys. It's Caro, Rico Silver, and Siberia and Araxite. Whoo! Those are some insane names. The individual shades all click in and out of the palette casing, so you can switch the shades between palettes and quads. Shades come in three different finishes, true mattes, iridescent shimmers, and eye-catching sparkles. All the shades can be used dry for easy blending or wet for more intense, vibrant color. So I think that that is so cool that you can use these dry or wet as well. So the more that I started using these, the more that I was researching them, the more that I was looking them up to see, you know, exactly what the company is saying about them, the more that I understood the price, which even with all the cool, innovative stuff that is going on with this, it's still a little steep for me when you're thinking about four colors. So if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of palettes and you grab palettes to use just that one palette every day or most days, then this is definitely worth it definitely something to check out the colors are so creamy and so pigmented and they blew my mind I was very very impressed with the quality of this palette it's something that I will keep and I will love and I will use so much this shade right here is amazing for setting down on top of primer and just getting ready to use your other colors with it is perfect and I love a good like primer setting eyeshadow. I love it. So this is going to be like an addiction and I have a feeling that this is going to be gone long before the other ones, but they are gorgeous and I think that this is great. I think that the Body Shop did something amazing here. Innovative, a little pricey, but I you know I'm a broke person so I see, I see things pricier than most do. So this could just be amazing for you guys. There are three different colors to choose from in the quads and I think that it is 100% worth it you guys. I think that whoever gets these will be very very pleased and not upset that they spent the $24. Now I want to move on to their eye color stick. Now I don't usually use or like these type of things. Really the only kind that I use are the NYX jumbo sticks because I use them as bases and that's just mostly milk the white one and so I don't use a lot of eye sticks but I do have a few of them. I want I really wanted to use this and try it out. Now on the site it says that this is $15. Way too much for me. I would never purchase this just on the price um to be honest. But it is it is a good formulation but I don't think that it's worth it. I did check this out. It does say that it comes in four shades but only three shades are available on the site. Now with the Body Shop makeup you cannot get that at Ulta where they do sell Body Shop but you cannot get their makeup there. You can only get it solely on the site. So that is where I found all of these products. Now they did say 
there's four different shades and they name off the shades but when you go to look at the options to buy there's only three available and it doesn't even have a fourth even saying if it's sold out or anything so I'm not really sure how that goes with this now when I first opened this product which it's really hard to open the whole stick came right out you guys it just broke right off and came right out which is never a good sign with these kind of sticks it's never never a good sign so right off the bat I was like man but when I swatched this it was kind of a different story. This product does swatch beautifully. Now it says that their eye color sticks are designed to make your natural eye color pop a sparkle that lasts for up to 12 hours. Show your true colors and stand out from the crowd this party season with high definition eye color. The chunky stick allows you to create the perfect eyeshadow shape, shading, flicks, and wings. Our eye color sticks are enriched with this um, Babassu oil from Brazil and beeswax. Now it says it's available in four shades, which it's not. It's a high definition metallic eyeshadow stick in gold, 100% vegetarian, enriched with Babassu oil and beeswax. Now I know I'm not saying that Babassu oil right. I, I know guys, I know. It's Nikki. It's Nikki. Now, while this swatched beautifully and I thought that it was gorgeous, I did not get that metallic effect from it. I didn't really feel that way. I just thought that it was a really pretty gold eye color, you know? I really didn't get a metallic feel for it. And also, with a 12-hour claim, I find that hard. I did not actually keep it on for 12 hours to know, but I did know that I actually had to set this because it never dried down, which was something that I found a little annoying as well. It did kind of tend to crease on me as well, and you can't put shadow on top of it because it clumps and just becomes really, really bad. Now, I did use, um, I did do an eye look using these products, and I will show that picture to you here. And you can see that one of the eyes is just very, very clumpy where this meets eyeshadow. And it was not good at all. And I have used cream sticks before and they do tend to dry down. And then you can lightly kind of blend eyeshadow over top of them to mix the eye look. And it's gorgeous. I can't do that with this. This, it just did not work. So overall, I think this is too expensive for what it is. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. But the claims, I don't really feel like the claims are true and I feel like it's too expensive. So this is not something that I would personally recommend. Now let's move on to the lipstick. Now I really do like the packaging. It's a matte black packaging and it has the color of the lipstick kind of wrapped around the front side of the lipstick which I find to be very useful. And the colors are pretty true to color as well as you can see. The lipstick versus the color shade. Now that can be huge because so many companies, even high-end companies, will label a product like this and you take it out and the lipstick is a completely different color and you're just like, what the fuck? And this actually is very, very true to color. So I did want to point that out. Now these do come in, I believe, seven shades. It is part of their new matte kind of collection. And this one that I ended up getting is in, where are you? 420. <laughs> 420 Honolulu Pink Matte, and it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now they say, show your true colors this party season with our bold new matte lipstick. Made with high purity pigments, our 100% vegetarian true matte lipsticks are enriched with the Brazil nut oil and beeswax for a nourishing, long-lasting finish. Now the ratings on these are a little bit lower than their other products. I absolutely love this. However, I do feel like this is not a product that is going to last. You do have to reapply it throughout the day. I find this to be more of an everyday lipstick. Something that you're going to carry around in your purse. Something you're going to need to carry around in your purse because you're going to have to reapply. This um, transfers a tiny bit and it is still hydrating well being matte and I do kind of contribute that to the beeswax that's in it. Beeswax can really make a lot of products very hydrating and protect your lips. So I do like it when they put beeswax in their products but however if you are vegan cruelty free, all of that, you will not like this because I believe that beeswax is not vegan. I believe. I'm not really sure how that works because you don't harm the bees. I don't know. I don't know. Now, 1250, another thing where I think it is just very, very steep. It is so, like, pricey for what it is. You can go to the drugstore and get something half the price. It works just as better, um, just as good, if not better. So that is something to think about. But their color range is very pretty. They have the pinks. They have the darker pinks. They have more nudes. I mean, they do have a great selection, but I do hope that they come out with more colors because seven is never enough. It is never enough, but I do think that they have a really great thing going on here. So it is a good lipstick, but it's just not something that I would personally run out and grab again. I am addicted to the eyeshadows, 100%, but this and the eye stick are just kind of like, uh, 
if it's your preference, yes. If it's your price point, yes. But for me, it's a no. So that is everything that I wanted to talk with you guys and review in this I hold it but did I like it. If you guys have any questions about anything, please leave them in the comments below. As well as if you've used any of these products. If you've used any of these products and you've tried them and tested them out, please let us know how you feel about them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!